Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Card Rips. I'm Lance, today is Wednesday. So if you're new to the channel, we're doing a weekly wrap-up. This is where every Wednesday I just kind of go through what other things I've got. I've tried to pick the top five cards I've picked up either on my breaks online or eBay pickups, what have you. So first off, we're going to just go through what we got through the week. Should be quick because we didn't really get a lot. So finish up that last stack of the repacked wax. Got a couple of nice Mike Piazzas I liked. This Andrew Benatini rookie numbered out of 499 was cool. Uh, Corey Seager, NL rookie stars. Oh, I guess first of all, I should say congratulations to the Dodgers for a World Series win. One and six, like a lot of people said. So that was very, very interesting. Blake Snell was having a great game and took him out. Uh, I don't think any of those. Oh, we'll put this guy up here. Maybe a lot to make the top five. And on Monday, I hope these are going to be out of order. So I had Monday I had the uh, KMG Sports Box. The big cards were actually the two guaranteed hits out of there. I got this Barry Larkin patch card. That was pretty cool. 91 out of 99. And this Cactus League Frank Thomas we pulled actually pulled out of a pack. I really like that card. Those are retail exclusives. Probably why I don't have one yet because most of my 2019 tops was actually hobby that I picked up. I'll put that out there. For Friday or Sunday, our Friday Fat Packs, we just had 2019 score and 20. 20 score, didn't really get anything. Drew Locke, draft card, deep dive Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes. On Sunday, we opened up the prestige and we had all, like almost every wide receiver rookie there was to get. LaVisca, Chase, CeeDee Lamb, Jerry Judy, and Justin Jefferson. I would say with Dak out, that the Justin Jefferson should have the better year out of those. CeeDee Lamb will probably have the better career, but we're going to put Justin Jefferson out there. Let me know if you agree with that. And then on Tuesday, we had our Pete Alonzo curated set, and we actually got the, one of the Pete Alonzo autos. So like I said yesterday, this is uh, the Pete Alonzo. Uh, they, this, uh, they get an autograph on every other box. This was a 3100 print run. The Pete Alonzo is dealing with the on-card autos. Everything else was a sticker auto. There's other players, so I'm not sure how many Pete Alonzo autos there actually is. And then online breaks, let's see, I was in a Papa Jay's break, and he sent me some 89 Bowman. And I had a Stadium Club 2019 and 20, and I had actually good teams. I had the Yankees, the Mets, and and I had the Cleveland Indians, Claver Torres, and I got this nice Power Zone Daryl Strawberry. I thought that was a sweet-looking card. Yu Chang, that was my best Cleveland Indian card, probably the Yu Chang Rookie Red Foil. Then I picked up a value pack of uh, 2020 Gypsy Queen off there as well. Got this Willie Castro. He had a great season. Doesn't have the rookie card logo on it, so I'm not sure if there was a 2019 Willie Castro. AJ Puck. This AJ Housley Blue, numbered out of 250. And then actually got a fat pack of the Absolute, and it was just loaded with rookies. Got Jordan Love, Joel Burrow, Chase Claypool, another LaVisca. I also put the, have to put the Joe Burrow out there. So that's the top five so far. And then personal rips. We finished up, me and my daughter finished up our box of 2020 Minor League Heritage. Got this Wander Frank. We only had six packs left, and we actually, three of the six packs had the little Bowman minis in there. Thought that was pretty cool. And Anthony Volpe, Victor Mesa Jr. Our only number card we got out of the box was Luis Campanet. Nasso Camposano, it's numbered out of 99, 59 out of 99. Uh, Open some more Alan Ginter, of course. She really likes Alan Ginter. She got this Bo Bichette and Kyle Lewis in one pack by themselves. Got the Jordan Alvarez. I actually went to Target on Thursday and found some Gravity Feed packs of 2020 Donruss. I picked some of those up and opened a couple of them just to see what's in there. Got this Van Jefferson canvas. I really think that's a cool looking card. I like the colors on it. Obviously, it's a canvas card. And then we opened up some 2020 Optic Blaster. Seems like Lewis Robert, that's where we've been getting most of our Roberts out of, was the 2020 Optic. But she got some good, good rookies out of there. And the rest of this is going to be eBay pickups. Oh, before I forget. Actually, also, the one of the box loaders was a Yankees player for the... And I got this guy here, Don Mattingly. Box loader, 2019 Top Stadium Club. thought that was a really cool card. 
or really cool not I don't say they card but whatever it is let's see and then the rest of this is going to be eBay pickups so we'll start off with this 2020 project 2020 2020 I got this Frank Thomas uh, sepia tone by Matt Taylor it was a good price I don't have Frank Thomas one yet so picked it up it was a 1990 tops iconic card we got this Cooper Cup. To, I still haven't got any of the total, total. I haven't totally filled out all these yet, but I think I've got three of these now, the pinks. Got this Heroes Eli Manning. I really like the looks of these Heroes cars from Absolute. I actually thought this was the red parallel, but when I was looking at it, it wasn't. Here's a, and some stuff from Haas of Cards. I got this Purple Yelly variation image. This touch or variation card. Touchdown Masters Rob Gronkowski. Topps Gold Label, Jackie Ross, he just opened his Topps Gold Label box and pulled this out of there and it was on his eBay store. Thought that was a sweet looking card. Class 1. I got this Lance Thomas autograph because that's an awesome first name, Lance Thomas. It was a decent price. We'll go ahead and put that out here. I guess we'll cover up Mike Piazza. Then I got a career lineage, David Robinson, and a career lineage, Damian Lillard. This probably My daughter's probably going to pick that from me. And then the rest of these he actually sent me for free or bonuses. They're all C.J. McCollum's. My daughter likes C.J. McCollum, so that was really cool of him. C.J. McCollum. We live in the Portland area, Pacific Northwest. So four of those guys. And then I picked up this Natalie Golbus Mem card from Goodwin Champions. And last but not least, we're going to try to open up this. So I had this in the fridge for two weeks now, and then I tried blow drying it then i actually opened a blow dryer it's kind of sad because on the back there you see mike piazza so we'll go ahead and do this real quick so you hear that snap so like i said this was in the fridge for two weeks i just blow dried it for like five minutes trying to get them to come apart opened it up and blew blew dry in there let's see how bad it is so i have an act And we won't fight this too much. So we get these uh, foil cards, Bill Ash. That's actually came off there pretty nice. Oh, nope, that one's not nice. That one's Mike Piazza's trashed. Dang it! Because I was like, saw there's a Deion Sanders. There's a rookie card. Unfortunately, not anybody good. Stuck to Sid Fernandez. Not going to bother. Spent the heck out of that one. Kirk Gibson. Kirby Puckett, too. Oh, this is a was a nice pack. I probably dropped it trying to get it apart. Albert Bell. Don Mattingly. Oh, man. Oh, this was sad that these got ruined. Vince Coleman. Didn't know he finished up his career with Kansas City. Or if he maybe even played some more years after that. I think he stolen bases he had that year. 50 still still stole still stole 50 stolen bases that year. So I assume he stuck around for a few more years. Rich Rodriguez. Stuck to Russ Johnson. Yep. So there you go. There's my top five cards of the box. Well, five and plus plus a big guy. Let me know if you agree. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time.